this is really strange. It is strange um, to see these people who are supposed to be saints and then sometimes martyrs. They're dressed in all these precious jewels and jewelries of gold and silver and rubies. All these, all of these precious stones and stuff. And they're stuck in the catacombs uh, underground. Now, I did a video about the catacombs before. I really did. Let me see if I can bring this over here on here because I'm thinking, um, what, am I, what am I to do a video on tonight? And I thought, well, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm going to do one on. I, I, that's what I said. I don't know what I'm going to do it on. But it's really, really strange, you all. If you're just tuning in, i got to make sure you hear me. I'm going to come over here. Um, hello there, Dennis, honey. You are the first person on this live chat. Hello, Christine. So, you all, this is really interesting about seeing that. You know, you hear about mummies um, in, you know, ancient Egypt and all of this kind of stuff. Um, oh, Salty Moabs, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, you hear about all of this these mummies you know it's normal to hear like you know you go into these egyptian tombs and the pharaohs have all this stuff buried with them but you never expect to see this kind of stuff in catacombs underground you all yeah hello um so this is really um very very interesting um i'm, I'm not I don't know about Atlantis or anything. I, I really don't. I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense if you think about it, you know, to have all that stuff on somebody. Uh, it really doesn't, and they, they're they no longer living, or, or perhaps they are in a different realm, and they take that stuff with them. Who knows what, what's going on? I don't really know what's going on, but I think it's really strange. Um, well, I'm going to show you the catacombs, because this is really interesting, uh, the catacombs. So what happened was um, I came over here to this place. I'm going to show you what I came to you. I'm going to flip this over here. So you can come over here to this yellowtrace.com. So look. Heavenly Body Spectacular Catacomb Saints Photographed by Pa Kuduranis. And you know, we can we can learn about this. You are we going to educate ourselves on what they do with jewelry and stuff. Look at this. This is this stuff is real what we're looking at. They literally they put these on these like mummies and stuff. They look at decorated that. Could you imagine uh, doing that? Look at that. It's it's really strange, and I, I don't mean any disrespect. I don't, you know, it kind of reminds me of, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, what's that Jack Sp barrel thing the the pirates of the Caribbean and stuff and they go look for all this treasure these uh, treasured chests full of gold and jewelry and and precious stones isn't there like a race look at that a race of beings that love this oh my gosh look at that Look look how intricate that is. Look how intricate this um this gold around the fingers of this skeleton is. Yeah, the Captain Jack Sparrow. Look at that, you all. The the fingers and the rings. You know, somebody somebody could be using that jewelry, you know, uh instead of leaving it underground, out of sight, out of mind. That's what I'm thinking. It's um it's rather uh, interesting. It really is, you all. Let's look at this. Um, so we're going to look at that. Look at that around their neck and stuff like that. 
They believe if you bury someone with their riches, they'll have it in their afterlife. Well, I don't think they, I don't think they will have it in their afterlife. I really don't think they will. It's like, oh my gosh. But you know, they're free to think what they want. They really are free to think what they want. If they think they're going to have it in their afterlife. Let me, let me, let me get right back here, you all. Let's look at this. So, um, I, look at this. And look how they make them pose. They pose them like that, that they're just relaxing and stuff like that. Royal robes. Yeah. What, um, there was also other movies, you know, where they had, um, I don't know. I'm sure there's lots of energy that is associated with this stuff. I really am. Crystals and stuff. Look at all of that. It's like, yeah. So um, you may say, Gina, what is catacombs? Well, these are catacombs right here. These are all catacombs. You know, look at this. Catacombs of the, some kind of cemetery. Um, they, oh, look, they got somebody on it. You, This looks familiar right here. Looks like... Um, like an Egypt Egyptian god or something with a great big old beak or something. I'm not sure what it is, but these were these are these are like images of the catacombs where they bury people, and we we've seen it before. We have Odessa. See now, this is Odessa is a very that's interesting. Odessa and grandeur. Odessa and grandeur. Look at that. That's underground. You know, I was I was first looking at underground cathedrals because there's so many underground cathedrals um, all over the world. Underground cathedrals all over the world. Um, and I'm thinking, well, why do you have cathedrals underground? Why do you have cathedrals underground? Uh, and really, some cathedrals are like... Um, what was like 74 feet underground. And you know, what if there are beings underground, a race of beings, and maybe they are the ones that use those underground cathedrals. Um, thank you, Salty Moabs. Yeah, so what if they are the ones who use those underground cathedrals? Okay, they could, you never know. You really don't ever know. Um, so we is just right back over here. Let me look right here. Alrighty, we got this. We have got this, you all. Okay, let me let me do this. So look at that. So Odessa. If we were to uh, Odessa in romance, I wanted to see this. I really shouldn't look here because I don't want to get um, off track. Well, that's really beautiful right there. Look at look at that. Look at that. Um, yes, happy, happy new year. Whoa. Okay, look at these animals. See those animals on here? Um, they got these animals, animal faces of lions with teeth. They got big teeth, you all. Look at that. Is that, is that? Now, wait a minute. Is that a lion? Can you all see that? What kind of being is that on the top of this building? What does that look like to you all? My, my, my screen is a little massive. Um, the giants built those buildings. And see, these look like some kind of winged, winged, great big giant winged birds right here. But look at that. You know, they could have put faces of people. Animals protect the energy of the structure. Well, then that's interesting. That really is interesting. And then look up here at the top. The Whoa, Gina, honey, you are just getting out of control. Look up here at the top. You are, Am I over here on this one right here? Um, Yeah, I don't mean to get a carried away. I'm going to push that button, make sure that we are over there. The cathedrals are built in their location. So... So these have wings. They got wings and they got shields. They're carrying shields. Now, 
You ever see the movie? There was a movie where these statues came to life. They actually came to life is what happened. You all hit that like button. Um, yeah, they came to life. You know, let's look. See, hmm. Well, I would say that they are, you know, that's very beautiful, this building is. It, it really is. I don't know how I made it this big, but I, I want it to get smaller. I really do. So I don't want to like, gonna look at that, you all, but I want to come back here to this. Hello. The Lyrians are the cat people. Yes, they're the cat people. Okay, we got the cat people. All right, so if I was to come over here, so I was looking at the catacombs. This is a catacomb, and you know, this is sometimes what you find. You find the dead in the catacombs. The catacombs and you know it doesn't look too nice look at this uh, we looked at it before we really did look at this look at this is another wiki fandom the catacombs dra dragon's dogma a dragon's dogma you know what if this right here this is they they try to push it off as make-believe but really what if it isn't make-believe Dean Birdie um, thank you thank you what if this isn't make-believe right here this right all of this stuff underground what if it isn't um, it's an ancient burial chamber of considerable size home to the undead of all kinds and the meeting place of salvation you got the undead warriors stout undead giant rats spiders phantoms skeletons skeleton knights skeleton mags and ogre Wow, so that's see this these these games right here These games have all kinds of stuff in them. They really do um, Yes, uh, he, he goes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour So let, let's look at that. So I'm supposed to be over here looking at this you all. That's what I'm supposed to be looking at right here these um, These right here is what I'm, I'm supposed to be looking at look at this look kind of like Montezuma but it's not it's um the the saints it's a saint look at this look at that that's pure gold that is pure gold you all looks like gold and silver now we've heard is it the reptilians or somebody who love gold they love gold is it the reptilians who like gold who they they came here to mine for gold and use the humans as slaves to get the gold out of the um, earth and stuff like that. Um, because there's there's a lot of gold underground, you know, and if they keep it underground, see that it's theirs. It's theirs away from the public eye above the ground. Uh, the Sumerians love the gold. Um. The Nephilim love the gold. Yeah, so they love the gold. Let's let's do this right here. The Anunnaki. Yeah, so I'm I'm not sure what this was called. The Macrabi bejeweled skeletons and saints ancient origins. So we can we can clip here. Um, the dead. Where did this one go? The Macrabi right here. Okay, did we go right here? Ancient origins the skeletons of the catacomb saints the dragons are the protectors of the realms uh, And tethered to the banks look at this so mm, This looks like a I don't know what that is doing right there. It's a British skull Look at this necropolis Hmm so this doesn't really have too much stuff on this right here. So we're going to get out of that one right there, you all. But this is what I'm looking at, some of these things. And this looks pretty neat also. Let's let's see what this is. Look at that. Ordain. Look at that. Gold and silver. You know it's not fake gold. It's not fake gold. Yes, good day. 650 airplanes to get all of the... Oh my gosh. Tammy Bonham from the Vatican yeah 
But you know that's probably not the only gold in the world. And look at the inside here. Look at these leg bones. Is that leg bones? It looks like bones of their legs. Look at that right here. Looks like they're leg bones. Well, it's very... Um, from the saints. This is all about saints in the catacomb. Melchizedek's toilet. Oh, oh my gosh, you all. Please hit that like button. Yeah. So look, let's look at this. A scepter. Are you all, is this showing up good for you all right here? Look at this. Marble. Who, okay, so let me ask this. So if this says catacomb saints, who ordained the, the people as saints? Who called them the saints? Because you know you have the biblical saints, and then after the biblical times, you have somebody who started naming off and doing whatever they do and turns people into saints and did they stick their bodies underground like that those are the people who the the church did the roman catholic church or something like that the vatican yeah okay the popes did it the cabal did it they're all in cahoots with one another um that's who did it okay they did it they they got all the gold they got all the gold is what they've got um, they found a gold hidden underground in Thailand. Well, see, that's really interesting. This, I've never seen anything like this. I really haven't. This looks like a Barbie doll. This looks like a doll, but you know it's not a doll. Look at that. And they don't have a name of who they are. They really don't. They just have pictures of it. The good, the fabulous, and the ugly. Um, the portal underneath the Vatican City. There's a portal under there. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a portal. Um, they got a lot of stuff above ground. They really do. What's hidden under the U.S. Yeah, like what is hidden under us? Look at this, you all. Let's put this back to this. This. Oh, my gosh. Her hand is covered in silver. Now, let's think about this. Um, do you think that they... Now, this is really terrible of me to say. It's horrific. Do you think that they... They poured... Dipped the skeletons or people alive in gold? Molten... Gold, hot gold and hot silver and stuff. And then... Whoosh, on their bodies if you look at that hand if you look at that hand what if they did do that they could have done that they really could have done that um is what they could have done they could have done something like that for sure if they did that look at her eyes they're full of gold um yeah the gold finger look at this you know, this, they really are into, they're into this. And they're doing it in the guise of Christianity or whatever it's called, whatever they want to call what they're doing. They're doing it in the guise of that. Now this right here looks humble. This looks humble right here. This looks humble. Um, Nicholas Cage and the National Treasure where they go under the Vatican and the tunnels and they find the gold and other treasures. Yes, that, that sounds about it. Um... They found advanced technology from hundreds of thousands of years ago. Yeah, see, this is this would be a very humble um, place to be buried. It would, right here underground like that. But it's not royal. 
like all of this other stuff right here. Let's look at that. Well, now they're whether they're using the word Indiana. Let me let me. I'm gonna click that open. I'm gonna click that open. I'm gonna click that open, and because they had the word Indiana there, and I'm gonna see what they say about Indiana. Uh, I am gonna go over there and peek. Um. No, here's see. Here's what seems like it. It seems like everybody does the same stories. Isn't that isn't that interesting? Like when you watch the news, they all have the same stories to tell. And then right here, they have this Indiana Bones and the Catacomb Saints. Now, what are they talking about this from September of 2017? Catholic Saints dripping. Oh, do you like how that's how that's worded? Incredible skeletal remains of Catholic saints still dripping in gems and jewelry discovered. Oh, Indiana Bones Explorer. Who is a... I've never heard of Indiana Bones Explorer. You all haven't. Let's look at this. Um, so, an Indiana Bone Explorer? So, let me, let me look at this. While researching and writing another book on... Charnel houses, Paul Kuduneris stumbled on this amazing microbe collection of a 400 year old, heavily jewel encrusted skeleton hidden in the most secretive <gasps> religious establishments in Europe. Wow, hidden is what it is. Hidden in that place his expedition photographs of dozens of these relics is now being revealed in his new book the heavenly bodies of catacombs so wow in the religious there we look at this saint saint valerius wear yarn have you all heard of him i've not heard of him it could be a woman no what could you they might call a woman a saint and it's like oh my gosh this is like their bones they're just skeletons and you know that their spirits if they had a spirit is done gone from that body now there is an account of where the the bones came to life um in the bible they lived the dry bones they came to life but uh, that that'd be kind of scary right here so look at that yeah, that is really strange. Oh, this is telling where they're at. You all see, that'd be an interesting book. So this catacomb saint in Sherlodorf Abbey. 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 That sounds like a castle or something is what it sounds like. Where, okay, this is the one that's on the thing. This is St. Albertus. St. Albertus. Oh my gosh, oh look. The book marks, let, let's read what this says. The book marks the first time that the story of these relics, which were lovingly and lavishly adorned with thousands of pounds of gold, silver, and pores, pearls, and precious stones is being towed, and it is one of mystery. The Catholic Church in Europe and the Protestant Reformation. They took all the gold. Uh, hello there, Jeremy. They took all the gold, you all. They took the gold for themselves. Well, that she sounds like this sounds like that. Um, dressed in fine living dressed in fine linen and precious jewels of every kind who says i sit as a queen i will never mourn yet in one day her um destruction comes yeah wow look at that oh, oh my gosh look at that they made a heart they made a heart there, you all. Oh my 
gosh, that's that's then that, that, that that's kind of creepy. That really is kind of creepy, you all. You can, you can put a mmm. That is not nice at all. So thousands of skeletons were dug up. So we got to look at this, you all. So this is really interesting. This is really interesting what we're looking at. Have you have you all ever seen it before? Let me let me come over here and look at you all. Have you seen the catacomb saints before with all this jewel and all this gold and all this kind of stuff? Have you all seen it before? Um buried the people in the gold. That's right. Um No, I see see Robert see Robert let me tell you about this see that's what they're using see that's their plan see they're using that uh, I think that is way they're way off it is all about love but you know what they're doing they're taking all they can get obviously and keeping it for themselves um that's that's wrong that really is wrong um, oh my gosh they put the gold on the tongues Oh my gosh. That is just horrific. It really is so horrific, you all. It is. Let me let me put this back over here. It is greed. Look at this. According to the Daily Mail, thousands of skeletons were dug up from Roman catacombs in the 16th century. And installed in towns around Germany, Austria, Switzerland, on the order of the Vatican. Oh, wow. And sent to Catholic churches and religious houses to replace the relics destroyed in the wake of the Protestant Reformation in the 1500s. Wow. They dug them up. Well, why did they even have them in the ground? If he, so these were, these were strategically placed. It sounds like they were strategically placed in certain areas. I wonder what the ley lines are, where these skeletons with all of these jewels on them, what are the ley lines? Because you know, the ley lines also have energy with them. That's really interesting. It really is. Um, yeah, that is really um, interesting. So they've got that. Let's see what else they said. Are you all still watching this? So each one was painstakingly decorated by, by devoted followers before being displayed in the church niche. niche. Many took up to five years to decorate. Wow, five years. Some of the skeletons are the remains of early Christian martyrs. That's about right. And were even found hidden away in lockups and containers. That's horrific. That is horrific because of boom and boom right there you all that's that's what it was Slipes. it's not right it isn't right it really isn't right hello it's not right at all oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh Gosh, Saint Dio Diodotus in Rhinanus, Ranu, Switzerland. Well, we know it's in Switzerland, right? Wow, he looked like he's got great big feet. Maybe it's the angle of the camera that makes his feet look so humongous. Yeah. Oh, you know that? That's right, uh, Mama Bear. That's right. That's like, oh my gosh. It's like, you got to be kidding. So this is St. Valentinus in um, St. Valentinus Waldeson right here. Yeah, it's like, um, 
St. Gertrude in Erzberg, Germany. So this is really interesting. St. Frederick Benedict, Benedictine Abbey in Austria. Look at that. The hand of St. Valentin Bad Schwachland, Germany, and uh, St. Peter in Munich. Wow. Look at that. Uh, like a royal scepter. What's that look like? Sand in there. That does it look like there's sand inside there. Um, they said they were renamed as saints although none of them qualified for the title under the strict rule of the Catholic Church, which require saints to have been canonized, but by the 19th century they had become morbid reminders and embarrassing past, and many were stripped of their honors and discarded. You know, that's really bad, too. You know, well, they do that like that. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I don't do Disneyland. Nah, I see, I don't want to get into stuff like that. I can only share what I'm led within my spirit to share. Uh, so that's what I do. Whatever I led within my spirit to share, that's what I share. Uh, and other people share things that they're led to share because they're drawn to it. I'm, I'm not drawn to that. I, I really ain't. But I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff going on with that. I really do think there probably is. Um yes as if they were oh my gosh that's right you all it is a lot of atrocities and they found them inside the they found the skeletons inside the let me let me get over here inside the catacombs see they got bodies right here too they got people's bodies right here look at this the 10 most Fascinating tombs in the world. Fascinating tombs. Why do you want to find the tomb fascinating? Um, really, why do you want to? Um, oh, you're so very welcome. Yeah, that's right. So that's really, um, really strange. It is. Um, uh, yeah, it does. There's a lot of things that have, a lot of things have been twisted, you all. Look at this. A lot of things have been twisted. The, the West Nor Norwood Catacomb Heritage. Yeah, where is that at? Where is West Norwood Catacombs? Because this, see, this don't have no gold on it right here. It really doesn't have any gold at all. I wonder what it looks like right here. If we come over here. And look at this page in Europe. Well, this is an interesting catacomb. Look at underground cities and stuff is what it is. Um, the westward, the catacombs, they, they do it under the guise of Christianity. Wow. See, see, the rust has already taken over this right here. Uh, an old, a notable English architect attributed the rebuilding of the Royal Exchange and Gothic revival of architecture. The Gothic revival of architecture. The Gothic. Oh my gosh, they just throw them in their caskets like that. I think that's their wooden boxes. Like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. See, so this is some of the the catacombs right there, you all. Let me put this back to me. I want to get out of that because I was supposed to be looking at these. Um, I'm supposed to be over here looking at the, the catacomb saints is what I'm supposed to be doing. Why many? Yeah, why so many branches? Oh, did we look at this one? Right there. Look at that. So they did the painstaking work of decorating these to try to build their image back up. To try to build their image up uh, of what they did. You know, they, they did the Crusades is what they did. Yeah, there's just think we don't even know the half of it. We don't. So, you know, those, those Indiana Jones movies, I think they're probably all true. Uh, what they saw and stuff, probably all of it's true. And um, 
Yeah, Paris has miles and miles and miles of it. Tons of it. Look how, look at these, um, look at this church, how fancy it looks on the inside. It's like that. It's like sitting inside of a museum. Um, some of the churches are really beautifully decorated. They are. They're like castles. Uh, big castles. Um, yeah, I believe all the movies are probably based on fact. and But they got to get the information out, right? Oh, my gosh. L look at this one. Look at that. Um, well, if you... If you're not a skeleton, you're not going to fit in that armor right there. You're not. Laden in silver. Silver and gold. Mmm. That is so strange. Yeah, let's look at this, you all. So what is uh, St. Peter and Marsilius? Uh, trying to look at these legs on this table. They look like they're a snake. A snake head, maybe, on that table. I don't know what they're doing right here. I really don't know. Mm. Let's look at these. You know, and just think, there's so much uh, history that has been hidden. And you know, when they have, like, things like this. Um, it just gets hidden out of the public's eye. Yeah, hidden from the public's eye. I don't know what that is, you all, but I'm going to look at some of these things on here. He, he kind of reminds me of Montezuma, is what he kind of reminds me of. Now, I don't think anybody going to wear this today. I really don't. This type of jewelry. Looks like it's got seashells. Look, they um, they put jewels or gems inside. Oh, those are teeth. You all, that's people's teeth inside of there. They put teeth. They decorated the fingers with teeth and made the seashells look like it's lips by the teeth. That's what they did. Those look like human teeth or, uh, around his neck on a necklace or something. What, that is kind of morbid. That, that's, that's morbid. It just got the teeth there. It is. It really is. Yeah, they can't hide it. Hello there, King of Hookamundo. Yes, your gene has been having to watch this, but I can do it. It's all right. We got a, we got a good one tonight. So let's look at this. So look at this catacomb saints right here. Oh my gosh. See, you have to ask yourself, why do they got to make architecture a la bones? Why? Why you got to do that? This is going to give me a headache. Is what it's going to do if I don't if I don't watch it. Um, we already looked at that right there. Um, yeah, you all look at this. This is it's it's. I, I love architecture. I really do. When I go to a museum, if I go to a museum, you know what I want to see? I want to see the real old architecture. I want to see old old paintings old old paintings and stuff uh, like this if if I go to a museum which I, I love to go to a museum but the art the art nowadays if you go to a museum it's like what happened to art what happened to the creativity and stuff because you don't see stuff like this nowadays um, being created you see something so abstract and it's like they're it's so wild looking today's art you think they're what what happened on the inside and i i don't mean any disrespect i don't but um i i just so happen to prefer this type of art right here i do 
as opposed to other stuff. But it's really, it's, it's, it's beautiful. The sum of it is, but I don't like the skeletons in it. I really don't. Um, yeah. I don't like the skeletons in it at all. Oh, my gosh. Do you think that's real right there? Oh my gosh, they got their heads, they got their heads in there. They got their heads stuck on a pillow with crowns on their heads. Why do they want to do that? Oh my gosh. It is weird. It's really weird. It is. But, uh, oh, there's so many of them. They stuck it in their mouth. Look how big that thing is. Look at that. A zombie peep show. Now, that may not be true, but look at this. Okay, you know that reminds me, all of this is what this reminds me of. When I see this gold right here, this reminds me, when you see stuff like this, it reminds me when Bilbo, on the Lord of the Rings, he goes into, uh, under the mountain, you know, the king under the mountain. Bilbo goes under there to get the Arkenstone. And when he opens up the door, he sees all the gold, all the precious jewels, the diamonds and everything. Uh, big mountains and mountains of gold. And he just cannot believe as far as his eye can see. It's all of this gold because they loved the gold. And then underneath the gold is the dragon. The great dragon smog. You know what? You know what that brings me to? In the unedited clip of Bilbo and Smog, that dragon says something about the king under the mountain. How he, he, what did he do? He ate every one of them or killed every one of them like a, he, this is the phrase they use. Like a wolf among the sheep. He devoured every one of them, he said. That is the unedited edition. I saw that last week when I was looking at um, some of the Lord of the Rings little clips. Uh, that was the one that didn't make it in there. But that's what he said of the king under the mountain. He devoured his people uh, like a wolf among the sheep. And I said, well, that sounds kind of Bible-like. That you would say something like that. But it did. It was like so strange. Um, mm, you are. My nose is itching. Somebody's really talking about me. My nose cannot quit itching. Look at that. I don't know if I'd want to drink out of that cup. I really don't. Let's see. Because there's all kinds of stuff you are. There are all kinds of this stuff. Oh, do you think that's real? Because it looked like a lizard's head right there. I don't know. Doesn't that kind of look like a lizard's head? They made it look a little different right there. Um, yeah, it does look kind of different. Kind of really does look like a lizard or something or a bug. Like a, um insectoid, maybe. Um, all of that. Royal linen. Got buried with the sword. Yeah, like a reptile. That's what it looked like, like a reptile. Wow, what on earth is that? Saint... Oh, streets Nereus, Achilles, and Damatila. That, if that's a place where they go and sit down, 
if you go and sit down in there, that looked like it, uh, that would be a very uncomfortable bench to sit at. Um, you couldn't sit there long because it has no back to it at all. It really doesn't um, at all. Let, let's look at this. Well, my nose keeps itching. We've already seen that. So I think that the rest of these are just... Um, Just like different images and stuff. Mmm. Pray and... Oh, I thought you said pray and mantis. Yeah, pray and... Why was Lazarus' resurrection so important? I don't know why it was so important to early Christians. So you all look at this. So we can, we can do this like this. Can look at these catacombs and stuff. They... They love skeletons is what they love. They love them. Love them, love them, love them. That looks like the... What is that? Really, what is that? Uh, Sincilio Rome. It's got some kind of a tail on it. Right there, it really does. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, you all. Well, um, Rome's largest catacombs are going to open. Really, they were going to open? Rome's, have you all ever been to those catacombs in Rome? Because they're going to open. I don't know if I'd want to. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I don't think that I would even want to go inside in, down inside the earth into a catacomb. Uh, and if you're sensitive to energy, and I don't think you'd want to go down there unless you like that type of energy. I don't think I would like the energy that comes from even walking through there, especially if there were dead people, spirits left there. You know, my nose cannot quit itching. It's like, I don't know what it is. My nose is itching and I, it's not doing nothing else, but I'm thinking this is not good. Yeah, it's not good that my nose is itching. I don't like it. That's why I got to flip the screen, you all. I got to flip the screen because my nose keeps itching. Oh, my. The Immaculate Heart. Oh, my gosh. You all, is this, is this really her? The Immaculate Heart of Mary? Is this really her? Because if this is her, her body is so well preserved. Um, is it really? That's what I'm wondering. I've never seen it, but um, if this is her, her body is so well preserved. I've got to, I got to click out of it. You all, I do. I can't look at it. Um, I really can't. Um, yeah. Okay, it's not her. Okay, they maybe they just wanted to do that. Yeah, because I don't think that that would be very nice. Look. The lives, oh my gosh, the lives of the new martyrs by somebody and Droyer, the cath, the catacomb saints. Look at that book, the catacomb saints, Russia's martyrs. Why do we have to have, why do we got to have martyrs? Why? Why do people got to be martyred? That is the question. Why? Because um, you'd think that as history progresses that we, we move beyond that type that happened to do that, happened to die as a martyr. Um, you'd think that it would just stop after a while but it seems like it's not but one day when we are no longer in this area this rim or something we won't see it anymore hopefully I, I don't want to see it I don't um, I really don't I wish there was never any war or anything like that I really do 
And I'm not going to read a book, you all. They got a book of martyrs, and there's no way I'm going to read it. No way. Uh oh, look at this. Look at this right here. This looks like there's more bones and stuff decorated. What is it with this symbol right here, you all? What is it with this symbol? Is this supposed to symbol um, the sun, uh, the rays of the sun? Is what I'm wondering. The rays of the sun. You see, I just keep clicking more. I think the images are repeating is what I think is happening. The images are repeating on here. Um, you know, if there's time travelers and they went back in time, they could have put painted pictures and stuff and changed time. They really could have. If you think about it, they could have changed time. No, we. Uh, I think I've seen enough of this stuff. I really do. But um, this is this is really what what um this right here. These are the catacombs, but they get they got the bones. They dug up bones and stuff, and they decorated the skeletons of the people. Is what they did, and placed them strategically all across the world. Is what I think um, happened. They placed them strategically across places is what they did um you know what i i want to do there was something i wanted to show you i wanted to show something if i can get over to it i can't um that's okay you all let me see this um You know, this is what I was looking at. This is what I started looking at right first. These underground cathedrals right here in Ethiopia. Have you all seen those before? And Ethiopia is supposed to be where the Queen of Sheba came from, uh, the, uh, according to that, when she uh, met Solomon and stuff like that. Ethiopia's underground and rock-hewn cathedrals churches and stuff built within the rocks is what it is they built within the rocks ethiopia see it used to be a very thriving um kingdom it really did until i guess italy came along or something like that look at this underground cathedrals that's where i started off look at look at all of these um pictures and you know they say that uh, when the queen of sheba met solomon um, he gave her anything she wanted, and it, it is said that she had a child by King Solomon. And the child um, somehow ended up with the, down the bloodline or something, ended up with the Ark of the Covenant. And um, there was like, I remember watching a documentary on Ethiopia and the Ark of the Covenant, how they said like the covenant, the Ark of the Covenant was there in Ethiopia and stuff. So there's so much history. There's all types of history, really. There really is. And it, who knows what's going on. There's, uh, there, one day we'll know. I really think we will know. As time goes by, I think we will. Let me, let me click back over here. But that's what I was looking at. Ethiopia and their underground stuff. And they got forbidden cities and things. Look how old this looks. Hewn into the rocks. Whoa, look at that. Somebody said there's something about the domes. Something of, look at that, it looks like it's total gold. Do you all think that's really gold right there? Gold on the top. Gold on the top. Yeah. Mmm. Gold on the top. Yeah, this is, what is that? Hey. Hey, you all. That looks like that's orbs. These look like orbs. Spiritual orbs. What, what do you call this? A one, two, three, four. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight. Eight-sided. What is that shape called right here? Because I think this is, um, this is showed up inside that church right there. 
And there's no way that that could have been on that wall except this is spiritual in nature. Now look at the sides of it. An octagon. Thank you, Al. So look at that. That is literally in this church. Now see, this is from the camera, this purple thing. But look at that. This is inside this church. If you read the Spanish, uh, what, are, what are they saying? Esta iglesia y topias de anos están talares. What does that say if you speak Spanish? I'd like to know what that says. Um, if you can read that right there. I think it says this is something. Uh, yeah, an octagon. I'm waiting for a translation. We need a translator here. I, I really want to know what that says in Spanish. Yes, I really do want to know what that says. Can you see that right there? That word, what they're talking about right there. Esta. Right there. Um, oh, means written on. Oh, 800 years. It says 800 years of the villain. Yeah, I know esta means this. It's an 800-year-old church. Okay, 800-year-old church. So, yeah, look at that. These are in this church right here. And that's from another, that's from a, another rim, an interdimensional rim. They showed up right here as this picture was taken. Look at that right there. That's part of the camera, but these aren't. These are literally spiritual, interdimensional that showed up right there. That is really interesting. I've not seen them in a photo like that before inside. Well, I've never looked inside of a building like this, you all. Have you ever looked inside of a building and then look like that? But, you know, look at that. It's so interesting. I love it. I do love it. One there and one there. What is the significant, sign spiritual con significance of, the, of this particular shape right there is what I would like to know. The spiritual significance of this particular shape of orb. Um, well, it, it can't be the reflection of the window because it looks like um, the only windows are on the outside. And this was taken on the inside and it looks like the sun is out there. So it's something different. Yeah. Infinity. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so that was really, really interesting. See, these have hardly any windows in them at all. These uh, churches. Physical spirit. Yeah, look at this. So look inside the mountain. They literally carved these inside those mountains. They're 800 years. It's a lot of work. Look at the pretty colors right here. It's a lot of work, you all. It really is. Um, I don't think it is a lens reflection. Uh, right there. I really don't. I've not got that shape in my lens uh, inside of a building. I think it's like orbs. It's like a, well, it's something spiritual in nature. Um, this kind of looks kind of like Red Rock Canyon rock right here. Look at that. They're still able to go in there is what it looks like. Um, yeah. Whoops. Sorry about that. Well, this is, there you go. You have it right there, you all. That's pretty neat. You know, it really is. Boom. Yeah. Let me let me put this back to me. So um, if we're just tuning in, we were looking at. I was I was looking at the catacomb saints is what I was looking at. Um, catacomb saints. They were submerged in mud. I've, I've heard that. And or, you know, some of these places, they've done it today. These, um, where there's like all these uh, murals and stuff. These tiles on the ground that have beautiful um, paintings on them or whatever you call it. And they flood the area because they don't want nobody to see the history. They literally flood it over so you can't see what's there. Um yeah. 
So you can't see what there, but look at this, you all. This right here, I've never seen anything like that. And they took them five years, and the Catholic Church told them to dig up the bones and dress them and put them in strategic locations around the world is what happened. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a ton of them if you're just tuning in. Look at all of the... Look at all of the gold and all of the rubies and sapphires and all of that and bones. It ain't going to do them any good one day. It won't do them any good one day at all because it'll all be gone. Yeah, look at that. All of that, you all his story that's right gina honey you pushed the wrong button you all i'm pushing the wrong button is what i'm doing sorry about that i am pushing the wrong button on here because i don't know how to navigate it that well oh my gosh it's 11 something at night is what it is 11 something at night let's me find out where we're at you all because we need to know where we're at Ooh, did you see that? We just literally went boom. You all, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. You may think I've already subscribed. Well, they unsubscribe people all the time. They really do. Um, oh, I've heard about that King Ahukamundo. He had demons make a church and it baffled scientists about how many times in the stories and flying carpet and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we've been on here for, oh my goodness, you all, I, I gotta quit be, quit be doing these, uh, one, one hour videos. <laughs> I do. That's all right. That is all right. We're gonna show it. Boom. That's great. Um, I want to thank you all for coming on here. I do, because it's, it's been really interesting. I won't get on here if I really don't know what I'm going to share, and that's why it took me so long. Plus, I got you know it's the weekend and stuff and things go on on the weekend at my house uh so that's all right you all so yeah this is a very interesting subject um there's catacombs underground some of them look really scary uh and there's underground cathedrals and then there's um all this gold and stuff all of it uh you're so very welcome uh roberta you are uh so i am gonna go and um with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you and have a wonderful rest of your evening. I've got to make myself wind down. I really do. But um, it's all right, you all. This is uh, the first day of a new year. Uh, it is, and it's, it's, it's getting off to a wonderful start. It is. Hopefully, um, it won't be as bad as some anticipate. And even if it is, uh, we will make it through. Uh, we will. We'll make it through it. And it's all right. It really is. No matter what comes our way, it'll be fine. One way or another. And we'll make the best of it. We will. Um, so have a wonderful rest of your evening. And thank you, uh, King of Hukamundo. Looks like it was me and you tonight. Uh, and it's okay because we had a wonderful chat. We really did. Everybody was, it was wonderful. Got a lot of comments in it. A lot of conversations, which is perfect. It is. Have a wonderful rest of your day.